Hello? Hey, what's up? Um, is this Jupiter? Yeah, this is me. Okay. Is Sorry, I've been gone for so long. I disappeared on all of you. I do want to apologize. That's the thing you want to apologize for, being gone? This was never supposed to happen. Me disappearing like I did. Well, I think that we, yeah, I think we should talk about that. Well, how have you been? Uh, same old, same old, getting there, getting things done, you know, that sort of thing. Let's talk about what's going on. You mean online or in general? Um, let's talk about what is it happening in general. I guess you could say I'm a jack-of-all-trades. You're a jack-of-all-trades? Yep, I am. What do you mean? Well, for one, I spent half my life repairing things that have been broken, along with my best friend, TJ. TJ's good with his hands. Me, I'm good with my hands. But I'm also very good with my hands as well, but that's... That's beyond the point. But anyway, what happened on social media was a total disaster. My content was never supposed to be like that. That's not what my TikTok channel was for. And suddenly I became a bad guy. I became the villain. You no, know, I became the freaking villain. Yeah. I never wanted it to do that. I never wanted it to come down to it. Suddenly you make one mistake on social media and everyone brands you a child predator or a pervert or some other bullshit. Um, so yeah. So I'm what do you have to say to like the, what do you think about people calling you like a child, you know, you know the word. Yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, all I have to say is I may be many things, but a child predator, not one of them. Um, you asked me if I still loved you earlier, right? Yes. Do you still love me? Oh, yeah. I mean, after everything I've been through, you are the only one that stuck by me. Do you understand how it hurt me when, when I found out that you were doing bad things? I understand it hurt. And I was trying so hard keep things under wraps, but at the same time, I wasn't entirely sober at the time. You weren't I sober? Wasn't sober. I was more, yeah, I wasn't sober. I was mostly high on nicotine or drunk half the time. But now that I'm back to just this, I can finally start living my life. You know? Yeah. I mean, I've been through a lot of hell lately. But I do promise I will do everything in my power to make sure that that kind of stuff never happens again. And if there are any officers watching us, any police officers from the NFPD, I would like to amend my statement and say that I will do 100% to make sure that none of that crap happens again. Okay. I'll do everything I can. Um... Okay. What about what happened with Abby? I was told she wanted to leave. I was told. She does. She's been talking to me. And that's her choice. If she wants to walk away, I'm not going to stop. She said she's found someone new. That's her choice. That's her choice. Not me. It's her choice. Um, but look at that, she doesn't really want me. She's just trying to make me, she's just doing what she can to try and get me back. I know, I know for a fact that Abby would do something like that. She wants me back, but is too afraid to admit it. Sure, I may have messed up. I've made my fair share of mistakes, but at least I'm still alive. At least I'm paying for it. 
You know, I didn't know that you have a few siblings in jail. Only one. My brother. And you said that whatever he, um, your sister said was true, right? What he did to me is true. Do you think that's maybe, like, damaged you? Mentally, emotionally, yeah. My family isn't perfect. No. No? Yeah. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's family's perfect. Mine is broken. You know what, Jupiter, I really want to have like a more in-depth conversation with you. Maybe like when you figure out how to log into your Zoom, we can do that. Does that sound okay? Um, right now, we can talk still. I got a plenty of time at all the time in the world. But if okay. you have any more questions for me, now's the chance to ask them. Um, why do you want to return to TikTok? Well... After everything I've been through, you should know that I'm too stubborn to give up. I'm way too stubborn. It's a quality I share with my father and all my other brothers. I share a quality with them. We're stubborn. We're stubborn as can be. Can you guess how I feel about you returning to TikTok? Of course. You can tell me. Um, I don't know if it's the best idea for you right now because there's a lot of people on the app that you know don't don't yeah don't that don't want you there yeah i know that's why i created several different accounts so i couldn't be traced okay and malaforce is just another one it's okay. just another code name um, so, you know, I found out a lot from Abby about how when she was 13, you were 17, when she was 14, you were 18, when you were 15, she, you, when she was 15, you were 19. You're, there's a four, four year age difference. And I know that's, that's her choice to walk away if she wants to. I know, but that's, that's not, that's choice. not the point. You were in a relationship w with someone when you were 20 years old and she was 16. I know. After everything that I realized happened, before I realized it, things had gotten already out of hand. Like, before I realized it, everything I had was gone. All the people I had who loved me were gone. The people I cared about, gone. Like that. I know. Um, also... She said that you, like, inappropriately touched her and you, um, hurt her. Fuck that. I did no such thing. And she fucking knows it. I did no such thing. What about what your sister said about you, you know, almost strangling her to death? That was a long time ago. I was a child. I was a kid. You were 18. I was a child. I was 14, not 18. I was 14. Well, she said that you that you tried to strangle her multiple times. Yes, I was 14. I was a child. People need to get that through their heads. I was a fucking kid. Okay. I didn't know any better. I didn't have the outlet I have now. Jeez. Some people like to take that shit way too far. Has anybody, like, recognized you in person? Well, I was at the gas station up the way from my house at one point. And to this one woman, this one girl walked in with her, with this other guy. And she noticed me right off the bat. And she said, are you going to pick up? And I said it kind of, you know, hesitantly. And then we got into this conversation. And then she went out to the car and brought in another girl who asked to take a photo and a video with me. So I let it happen. You know, no harm done. But after I got home, I started thinking about the coincidence. And it came to my attention. I talked about it at the office, and now the office 
won't let me go up there by myself is because they're afraid I'm gonna get recognized and why end up getting hurt or worse, killed. Um, do you how are how are all your how are all your powers doing? Oh, my powers that I have? Yeah. They're still intact. They're still intact. So I found out that you're actually a vampire, werewolf, demon, dragon hybrid. Exactly. I kept those other two parts from being secret because it's just been rough having those kind of powers. It's been rough. But hey, I'm here. Okay. And so you only have Wi-Fi when you go to public Wi-Fi places? Yeah, I have to go to public places to get free Wi-Fi. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to talk to people here. Jupiter, do you, you... Here, here's, here's something. Do you promise, promise me, promise your mother, promise your father, promise everybody in the whole world that you will not ever talk to another minor? Do what I did again? Yes. I promise that I wouldn't, and I'm going to keep that. And what's the consequence if you if you do talk to another minor? I already made my choice. That was a choice I made because I wasn't sober and I wasn't in control. Now that I'm in full control, I can safely state that it will never happen again. Okay. Never again will I let those things happen. And I made a promise I would, and that's the end of it. I don't care what happens to me, but I only care about what happens to those around me. If it happens, you know what? I want to believe you. I do. But you said this multiple times and it still happened. But I'll tell you this. If it happens again, Jupiter, I will do everything in my power to get you to take accountability for your actions. And I am taking accountability. What I did was wrong, I realized. Sure, I made a, I made a few my, I made a few mistakes. I've made my fair share. I'm not perfect. I know it's things. But I can promise you this. If a sinner can promise you that he will never sin again, you can't believe him. But if a true man were to apologize for his actions and take accountability and show you that he loves you, that's when you know that he does. That's good wisdom. It was something my sister Cheyenne taught. I like that. It took me this long to realize. Um, okay. So, also your sister told me that you wear diapers. I don't. She lied about when that did, was a long time ago when I was a kid. I'm no longer a kid. I'm an adult. It was a long time ago. Let's just drop that because it's a very uncomfortable thing to talk about. To me. Okay. That's very we'll, we'll drop that. Very nefarious thing that I hope was her yeah. brought that up. Nefarious, yes, it is. Her and I have one year age. Well, I really want to... Thank you for taking the time to tell your side of the story just to me and I'm stuck there hanging out. So you don't care to like I'm talking to somebody right now. But uh yeah, sorry. I think there's a lot of people on social media that want to hear you and you and your truth and you apologizing. Yeah. I I've apologized for my actions online to everybody. I know that this might sound stupid, but I'm thinking about getting this film reaction. Okay. So what's the impact of I just like hanging out at the library sometimes because it gives me some freedom away from the house. But, uh, yeah. I came up here to get some freedom away from the house. When I was sitting at home, I was surprised. So I came up here to get away from the house. I came up here for some research, too, which reminds me I need to pick up. What are you researching on? Do you remember how I told you I'm a paranormal expert? Yeah. That's what I've been studying this whole time. That's why I came up here was to get these 
studying you've done. But when you come, when I got online, I contacted you to see if you were okay and making sure that everyone on there, including all my fans, are doing okay. You know, I want to know that they're okay. That's why I came up here with the research. And I don't know if you have fans. Jupiter, I don't, I don't think you have fans anymore. I get bored sometimes with those things, but yeah, go ahead. I don't think you have fans anymore. Hello. I'm still here. Oh, okay. That's great. I was trying to think. I was trying to think of what to say to that, but I didn't have anything to say to that because I'm pretty sure that anyone who was supporting me has either been lied to by anonymous or been paid off never to talk to me. Well, I think you still have a lot. I think you still have a lot of work to do. And I know that you'll... I'm working. I'm working hard to make sure that the people I love and care about are never coming home again. And you might want to tell Anonymous that him threatening my family like this is not going to save him. Who is Anonymous and why are you talking about? I don't even know who Anonymous is. He's the one who's been threatening me online. He's been sending me death threats. Him and his buddies. I'm sick of it. Okay. He's been sending me death threats. He even, when I was on the phone a couple of years, a couple of months back, when I was looking at Bella, he had recorded me from behind the house of me being on the phone and threatened to leak that footage. Wow. He blackmailed me. In the beat. That's what I did. I got picked because he blackmailed me. I had no choice. You know, I had no choice. What choice did I have? Yeah. Are you still, I heard that you were making videos with your, with your homunculi. Oh. I mean, Star, she's okay, I guess. Have you had any more children? Uh, not really, but we are expecting two more twins. Two more twins? Mm Mm-hmm. my collection of okay. well Jupiter I have to go and hopefully we can have a more like professional conversation like on Zoom or something later I'll, uh, okay I'll I'll think about I'll try to get this phone up and more working okay I'll try and get it up and working oh my gosh guys that was so hard for me you guys just don't understand how hard that was you guys don't understand how hard that was I think there's a lot that I have to discuss with him and I'm going to have to like make notes down and like read them to him. But that was honestly scary. So thank you guys for like watching this and being here. And yes, I'm still going to work hard to put him in prison. But I was told by a reliable source that the Nampa police are not going to put him in prison for a few reasons. Most importantly, um, there's not like any evidence of him sending bad pictures of minors. There's no like explicit, you know, there are like statements, like words that he says, but that's not actual like proof and they have his computer they have his phone they have everything they have they should have the evidence but they're not doing anything about it so there's not much i can do to gather the evidence besides i don't know i don't know i really don't know people ask me all the time oh linda why do you keep on still like posting about jupiter and i'll tell you guys at the beginning when i first met jupiter i thought he was cool we met on the live stream i didn't know who he was at the time until i heard him say that he was a vampire and then some of the comments in my live stream comments said, um, you should post this on your TikTok profile. So I did. And then it got a lot, a lot of views. So when Jupiter saw it, he was like, Linda, let's keep on making more videos. And silly me thought like, oh, this is going to be fun. Let's keep on making more videos. 
So yeah, that was fun until I found out that he was doing some bad things behind the scenes. And I knew it was going to come out at one point or another. I knew that someone was going to say something like, oh, hey, Jupiter has talked this way to me and I'm a minor. So I'm like, I'm, I can't just sit here and just ignore that this is happening. I'm, that's, not my, that's not my character. That's not something I would do. So I thought about it for days and days. And I was like, what am I going to say? How am I going to tell people? Because people always saw him in this playful, mischievous way. But to let them all know that this is not who he actually is. Sebastian, you can shut the fork up. Sebastian, you can go back into the sea with the Little Mermaid because no one gives a fork about you, you forking birch. Like, stop it. I hate people. Anyways, stop. What? Sorry, I get like off topic. Um, but to anybody that's trying to minimize what I'm doing, to anybody that's trying to take what I'm doing out of context, there's a special place in hell for you. There is. And I'll make it myself. Um, but yeah, I, I, I really want to see justice for Abby, his ex-girlfriend, that he... G-R-O-O-M-E-D for like a lot of years. When she was 13, he was 17. When she was 14, he was 18. When she was 15, he was 19. When she was 16, he was 20. When she was 17, he was 21. When she was 18, he was 22. But the state, the law of consent in Idaho, you have to be 18. I'm not crying. If I was crying, I'd let you know. You'd, it'd be obvious. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I really want to thank you for all your support. I really do appreciate all the gifts, all the followers. Um, I'm not doing this for the followers. I honestly don't want to be doing this, but I feel like I morally have to because I'm the one that brought him into the limelight. I have to take him out. And as many times he, he's going to say, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do what I did. I'm not a child, you know. He's going to do it again. Just like I warned you guys that he was going to get back on TikTok. I knew he was going to get back on TikTok. And I'm, gonna, I'm telling you this, he's going to do the same thing again to the young people. He's going to do it again. And he's going to say, oh, I didn't do that. Bye.